Hey there, everybody. Edison T. Crux here, and I want to talk to you for a moment about why there haven't really been any videos from me lately, or what there has been has not been much, and how I just kind of fell off the face of the planet for a long time, quite a few months here. And the reason, honestly, we get down to it, there can be a million different possible, you know, this or that, circumstance, this circumstance, that circumstance, whatever. When you get down to it, the reason is really very simple and really very blunt and that's I got knocked down that's the simple truth of it is life threw me some curveballs in in a way that I was not expecting and I got knocked down and my wife was away at nursing school more I was taking full care of our two kids who are very much a handful some of the times um, and there are, there are a million circumstances, like I say, and none of those are really the reason, right? Because you always can. There's always a way. Your circumstance is never so bad that you can't make it work. So I don't want to make it seem like I'm saying, oh, it's just because of these circumstances. That's not it. It was because I got knocked down. It was because things got difficult around me. And I was not really in a place... And I wanted to be productive in any way. And I think, I bet you, a lot of you are hearing this and maybe think that sounds kind of familiar. Because that's human, you know? <clears throat> it's human to get knocked out of your comfort zone, to get in a place where you just don't want to do anything. Or if you do... You want to do it. That's the worst part is you want to. You don't necessarily want to not be producing, not be contributing, not be helping and providing and creating, right? This is, I love what I do. So why wasn't I doing it? Because I got knocked out of my environment and I just wasn't in a good mental place. And one thing led to another. It ended up being that I was knocked down for longer and longer. And if any of you, if this rings true to any of you, I bet you, you can agree that the longer you're knocked down, the longer you're out of it, the longer you're out of funk, the harder it is to get back. The harder it is the simple task, for me, simple task of picking up my 3DS capture, turning on a camera, and hitting play. That's not hard. But yet, the longer I was away from it, the harder it became to do it again, to pick back up. Why? Why is it harder? Because you then start feeling a sense of guilt, for one thing. And the project, the task of doing, just seems like a bigger job than it is. And, you know, you mix it in with that feeling of, I've let people down, you know, who are looking forward to things, or any number of stuff. There's any number of reasons that can keep you from starting back. And the reason I want to point this out is not so much to, you know, oh, woe is me. I don't, I don't really need sympathy. I'm sure some of you are feeling sympathetic that, you know, oh, my life has been so hard. Don't. My life has been great. It has been, there have been difficult patches, absolutely. But my life is good. My life is great. And I don't really want anyone to feel sorry for me because, honestly, I've got it great. I've got it great. I just got knocked out of my environment. And the problem was not out here in my world. The problem was right in here, and it always is. So the reason I wanted to mention this was not to apologize and not to even feel ashamed of my absence from YouTube and from just kind of the internet in general, but it's more to hopefully relay a message of hope to any of you, because I know some of you, maybe not everyone, but I know some of you who watch my videos kind of look up to me. Right? And maybe not a ton, maybe not like, you're my hero, Edison, but there are a lot of people I know who do look to me as at least one, one of, I hope, many positive examples. And I wanted to use this, the situation that I went through, to hopefully give all of you hope. Even if life, life just kicks the, kicks the feet out from under you, kicks the rug out from under you, you know, knocks you in the shins and you go tumbling down don't give up I haven't given up I 
love making YouTube videos, and I love writing books, but I haven't been. But I have not given up. That's a key thing. Even when I wasn't taking action, I didn't give up. That's important. Even though it was really hard to just get in front of a camera again, I didn't give up. I never once said to myself, I'm not going to do it. I simply was saying to myself, at this moment, I'm not ready. Well, I'm ready now. I haven't given up. And I hope if any of you ever find yourself in that same situation, don't feel ashamed of being down because that's human. It happens to everyone, even perhaps your role models. It happens to. But most importantly, don't feel ashamed and don't give up. Understand that right now, maybe you're not in the place to do it. But as long as you're breathing, you've got more in you. And if now is not the time, okay. Work through what you gotta work through. But don't give up hope that you can do the stuff that you really wanna do again. It's not impossible. It's not beyond you. And even if it's hard to get back into it, it is not impossible. And it is doable. So, thank you for your patience. Thank you all of you for your patience with me. Particularly a thank you to all of my patrons who have been enormously supportive and patient. I really appreciate it. And I am glad to be dragging myself back up and making videos again. Because I've missed it too. So, if you excuse me, I have a video to make. I gotta do some hard gold nuzlocke now, and I'm really looking forward to it. So, thank you all for joining me, and I hope you enjoy it too.